So there are a number of concepts which uh, are about uh, the world in which we live and that have a strong uh, natural intuitive basis. Uh, it doesn't mean that, they, that we are born with these concepts, but uh, when, uh, when we become adults, then we have these uh, concepts. Uh, a child may not be able to distinguish uh, between what is heavy, what is light, and what goes into another thing. But as an adult, you, you know the difference. You have some intuitive notion of weight, uh, also of size, of time duration. And uh, if something seems to be in contradiction with these intuitive concepts, you don't like it at all. Uh, so this is why some uh, discussions in physics leave people completely cold. They don't get excited about uh, these things at all. If I tell you that 49, uh, 49 is uh, uh, a prime number, you may say it's not true or it's true, but you don't get uh, really upset uh, by this. Uh, well, if I say uh, that uh, simultaneity, namely things occurring at the same time, is not an absolute concept, you remember that this was, uh, uh, that people got very excited about that. Uh, so if, uh, I, I want to make this sort of preliminary discussion that some things, and those in fact that I want to discuss, uh, have a strong uh, emotional um, uh, in importance for people and others not. And we, we have to take that into account to uh, be able then to discuss these questions uh, carefully. Examples of things with a strong uh, intuitive, natural intuitive basis are space, time, life, and uh, in fact, the, the concept uh, about which we are excited is not so much life, which is an abstract thing, but living or, or dead, and uh, uh, the old English word being quick, the quick and the dead is uh, what you find in the translation of the Bible, and uh, so. I mean, we know what is living and we know what is dead, and uh, even though we are not very, uh, we cannot very easily uh, explain the difference, uh, we know that there is this important difference, and we don't want to, uh, to mix the, the things. Um, another thing is weight, which is not so much the abstract concept of weight, but the difference between what is light and what is uh, heavy. Uh, orderliness, which is the difference between order and chaos. And it's not easy to say what you mean uh, by order uh, and what you mean by chaos, but when you see something orderly, you know that it's uh, orderly, and when it's chaotic, you know that it's chaotic. Um, another thing is the concept of probability. Uh, if you go to uh, ancient Greece and ask them what is probability, they don't know. Uh, but they know that some events are uh, frequent and others are uh, uh, infrequent. Uh, and um, <coughs> the notion of causality is in the same category. That's one thing that I want to discuss later. Namely, we have the notion that uh, there is a sequence of causes and effects which, explain, which should explain everything, but there is also the fact that some things happen uh, by chance, they happen at random. 